Welcome back to the final. Truth be told, it hasn't been the most pleasant offseason for the Bengals. They lose out on big name free agents like Warren Sapp and Troy Vincent, not to mention the city's pending lawsuit against the team. But you'd be hard pressed to find anyone with anything bad to say about today's blockbuster deal with the Denver Broncos. The centerpiece of that trade, former Pro Bowl cornerback Delta O'Neill. He comes over from the Broncos, signs a five year deal with Cincinnati. Bengals also get a fourth round pick from Denver and swap picks in the first round. Denver now at 17, the Bengals will select at number 24. O'Neill, a pro bowler in 2001, has fallen out of favor with Denver head coach Mike Shanahan. And Coach Lewis says he's just looking for a second chance on defense and returning kicks. I'm excited we, we acquire a guy with great skills, great ability, uh, is I think anxious for the opportunity uh, to uh, play in the secondary and do things back there. and Also, also the opportunity to return kicks and upgrade us and help us in, in any way he can. I'm a team player, so I'll do it in, anything it takes to help the team win. And if it involves me playing punt return, kickoff return, I'll do it just to help the team out. So the Bengals continue to stockpile early round picks for the NFL draft later this month. Six of the first 117. It's the first time that's happened since 1998. That includes two third rounders and two in the fourth. One from the NFL as a compensatory pick and the other acquired today. And welcome back. The Denver Post is reporting the Bengals have reached a deal with defensive tackle Daryl Gardner on a four year incentive lative $9.3 million contract that will be announced this week. The Broncos will release Gardner after June 1st, at which point he will officially be allowed to sign with the Bengals. Marvin Lewis was Gardner's defensive coordinator in Washington. The 31-year-old played in just five games last season. He missed two months after tearing wrist ligaments during a fight at a restaurant, then was suspended by head coach Mike Shanahan for conduct detrimental to the team. Unfortunately, we begin tonight with sobering news. Dennis Weathersby remains in serious condition at University Hospital with severe swelling to the head. The Bengals cornerback suffered head trauma in a one-car accident Monday evening. There were no ties to drugs or alcohol to the accident, and no one else was involved. Doctors are looking to stabilize Weathersby so they can run more tests. The 23-year-old played sparingly in four games last season, but was expected to challenge for one of the cornerback's starting jobs this year. Misfortune seems to follow Weathersby. It was nearly one year ago as a projected first round draft choice that he was shot in the back in a drive by outside Los Angeles. As a result, Weathersby fell to the Bengals in the fourth round.